Everyone knows that the United States government is benevolent and looks out for the well-being of its citizens. For proof, look no further than the Works Progress Administration, which provided employment to people from 1935 to 1943, beginning during the Great Depression. The WPA enabled people to use their talents to support their families during a period of great financial turmoil and into the chaos and uncertainty of World War II. Of particular interest is the WPA's Federal Art Project, which hired numerous artists to produce eye-catching posters designed to instruct the public on how to live better and get more enjoyment in their community. It might seem quaint to modern eyes, but the WPA's Federal Art Project posters showcased a future of our country that's free of poverty and slums, stopping diseases in their tracks, and forging stronger connections between citizens. An orderly line is a safe line, according to the government, while another poster made the point that arguing wastes time. We should strive to be more courteous to one another. That includes working with care to avoid injuring or killing our fellow citizens. But in order to kill more of the enemy while safeguarding our troops during World War II, WPA artists made posters reminding folks to donate their binoculars to the military so the Navy could identify German and Japanese submarines from far away. At home, ladies were encouraged to sew for victory, which is better than suing for peace. Families grew war gardens to supplement their food rations. They learned from WPA posters how to protect themselves during air raids, such as what items to stock in an air raid shelter. The government urged electricians, machinists, and carpenters to enlist so they could build for their navy. Posters reminded citizens to keep their mouths shut about wartime efforts, to avoid tipping off the enemy, and to not write about secrets in letters sent through the mail. We also needed to conserve resources with reminders to not waste water. Since the war required enormous amounts of fuel for our vehicles on the front line in Europe, Patriotic citizens in America needed to carpool to use less gas and to put less wear and tear on rubber tires. Beyond defense, an educated citizenry is essential for the ongoing survival of our great nation. With that in mind, kids who seem to be stupid may simply be suffering from a visual impairment, according to one WPA poster. Promoting curiosity and the spread of knowledge, the government urged citizens to take advantage of their local libraries, with Chicago offering curbside book service in the 1930s. The government offered training programs to girls and boys and provided adult education classes at no charge. You could find employment related to mathematics or become an airplane mechanic or an art instructor with guidance from the WPA. Milk was a cheap and readily available source of nutrition, so the government touted its benefits in WPA posters. To keep the public safe, the government put out a poster that explained, Milk truckers do not pick up milk at farms, where there are cases of diphtheria, scarlet fever, infantile paralysis, or spinal meningitis. Indeed, preventing disease is a primary goal for the U.S. government. Accordingly, WPA posters asked citizens to not feel ashamed and to go out and get tested for sexually transmitted diseases, with a heavy emphasis on gonorrhea and syphilis. In particular, the government flooded communities with posters about preventing and treating syphilis. That's because in the 1930s, an astonishing one in ten Americans suffered from syphilis, with a half a million new cases every year. 
Syphilis still plagues us today, with 203,500 cases in 2022, an increase of about 80% over the previous five years. According to the latest statistics from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, doctors still use penicillin to treat the sexually transmitted disease. Since it's difficult to maintain good health when you live in poor housing conditions, the government turned to poster art to announce new affordable homes and to instruct folks to clean their cellars to avoid them catching on fire. Apartment dwellers had different worries concerning fires, so a WPA poster reminded citizens to keep their fire escapes clear. As crime ran rampant in the 1930s, the idea was that we could still cure juvenile delinquency in the slums by planning communities with homes that ordinary folks could buy. In addition to addressing the daily concerns of our citizens to remain safe, get educated, and support the war effort, WPA posters contributed timeless artwork about preserving and enjoying nature that still resonates today. The message is, after enjoying your local park, you'll want to expand your horizons and visit national parks, such as the Grand Canyon, the Devil's Tower, Crater Lake, and Old Faithful. Across the country, utilities began installing electricity in people's homes in the 1920s, with about 70% of the country getting electrified by 1930, covering most of the large population centers. But folks living in the sticks still had to get by with candlelight until the government stepped in to spur on progress. The Works Progress Administration was instrumental in bringing electricity to folks living in remote rural communities. Posters glorifying the Rural Electrification Program reminded citizens that the United States government has their best interests at heart. If you enjoyed this report, consider sharing it with like-minded friends and tapping the like button so YouTube will share it with more people. Subscribe to Nice Planet to make sure you see each new video. Thanks for watching.